Hello everyone and welcome to a Kiwi Empire public information film where we're here to teach you about the important things you need to know to survive in the world today. Now have you ever been sitting at home playing your preferred video game when you look out the window and lo and behold there is a Turner gene stealer glaring at you? Now this is an unexpected but potentially dangerous situation and we at the Kiwi Empire are here to teach you how to combat this situation. And the first thing you need to know are some common facts about the Tyranid gene stealers. That way you'll be better able to combat them. Now the Tyranid gene stealer is a subspecies of the Tyranid Xenos Menace. And they are used as a shock trooper. Their primary purpose is to advance the head of a main hive fleet and pinpoint potential planets for the Tyranids to devour. Now some say they are amongst the most deadliest creatures in the galaxy, but I highly doubt that. And as a result, I think there are some easy, simple things you can do to combat or stop the Tyranids in their tracks before they are able to convert you into a gene stealer cult slave. Now the first thing that you need to know is that gene stealers, once they initially arrive on a planet, are infiltrators. They are here to expand their numbers and they are here to increase the size of their gene stealer cult. Therefore, their primary purpose in seeking you out is for sexual reproduction. Now, some of you might be thinking of certain Rule 34 that you've been looking at, but I'm here to assure you that that is not what Tyranids look like, and that is not the end result you will receive. And your favourite waifu will not become a hot half-alien gene stealer babe. I'm just here to tell you that's the harsh truth you're living in. So, with the information provided that the Tyranids are here to reproduce, there are a few things you need to know to how to combat it. First thing, positioning. Now once a gene stealer first arrives on a planet, they're going to be a bit hungry, a bit out of shape. So they're going to be targeting the lower decile economic areas in order to gain some easy reproductive uh, targets and to gain themselves some more numbers. So staying away from airports, dockyards, shipping yards, anywhere that there might be crates or cargo potentially coming from another country or off world, is probably the wisest scenario. However, I don't actually need to be telling any of you this because we all know that none of you ever leave the house, even before the national quarantine kicked in. So, thankfully, you will be safe from any roving Tyranids or roving Tyranid gene stealer clans while you're out hiding inside your own home. So, with it being established that you're probably unlikely to be a primary target because you never leave the house, we now need to explain what happens if the Tyranids do come knocking at your door and what you should do to combat them. Now the first thing I have to say I'm afraid is to combat the Tyranid gene stealer menace you are going to have to get out of your favourite chair. I apologise but it's true. Now if you're an American then I'm fairly certain from my knowledge of Americans you have some high powered heavy ordnance sitting up on your walls which you can easily load and use to unleash death upon the Tyranids attacking you. However, if you are living in a lower economic country, or you do not have access to high quality ordnance, then unfortunately this may require you to leave your room. Now in doing so, remember that the kitchen is your favourite friend. There are usually lots of sharp, flashy knives in the kitchen that you can use to grab to fight the Tyranids in glorious melee combat. Now you will probably end up being killed if you engage in glorious melee combat, but the purpose of this is to deny additional biomass or additional gene stealer cult slaves to the Tyranids, so your sacrifice and your eventual death is actually something that you should be encouraging and looking forward to. Because remember, only in death do we truly serve the Emperor. Now, again, some things you need to look out for. Are there any strange people in your neighbourhood? Are these people suddenly covering up more of their body parts than usual? Are there people wandering around your neighbourhood with additional limbs that you didn't notice earlier? Are there also people wandering around your neighbourhood talking about the star children? If you are in suspected that you have these situations, then I think you may be suffering from a gene stealer infestation. The first thing you should do is grab high-powered heavy ordnance and shoot everyone in the neighbourhood. No, no, I'm sorry, we cannot condone that in the Kiwi Empire, but instead we recommend that you report this to your nearest local constabulary officer. Now it is possible that they could be in on it, so you need to make sure that the local constabulary officers that you report this to do not also have multiple limbs and start worshipping the star children as well. Now, 
If you do come face to face with a direct Tyranid and you are unable to be fight off your arms or anything, the thing you need to do is to turn and run away. Now a Gene Stealer will attempt to psychically seduce you with a technique known as the Gene Stealer's Kiss in order to forcibly impregnate you. However, turning and running away while screaming as loud as possible is a good way for the Tyranid to kill you rather than forcibly sexually assault you, therefore it's a way to escape the nightmarish life that you will be now suffering as a result of being a Gene Stealer slave. Therefore, with all, everything that you may or may not have learned from this public information film, I'm hoping that you were able to outwit and outmaneuver the Gene Stealer menace in your neighborhood and able to die a glorious, honorable death in service to the Imperium. Farewell, and next time on Kiwi Empire Public Information Films, we're going to teach you how to combat a Chaos Cult armed with nothing but a spoon.